Amarnim is known for making modified AMD Radeon drivers that result in better performance and compatibility. On April 22nd, they released their first working version for the Steam Deck. According to the user Stressed, these drivers have fixed several titles that were broken on the deck in Windows before, and several users have reported better performance than the official Valve drivers. Today, I am going to show you how to install them. On your Steam Deck in Windows, open your web browser and go to amernemezone.com. If this is not a brand new installation of Windows and you have already installed the AMD APU drivers from Valve, you'll need to uninstall them completely by using DDU, short for Display Driver Uninstaller. Go to Guide at the top right of the website, then at the end of the first sentence, click the DDU hyperlink. This will take you to Guru 3D. Scroll down to the bottom and to scroll down to the bottom and choose a download mirror close to your region. Once the download is finished, open the zip file and run the executable. It will prompt you to extract the folder. Make sure it extracts somewhere you know, such as your downloads folder. Once finished, you need to boot into safe mode on the Steam Deck. To do this, right click the start button and then choose run and type in msconfig altogether and then press OK. Go to the Boot tab and click Safe Boot. Optionally, you can turn on Network, but we won't need the Wi-Fi for this part. Click OK and then restart your device. Once in Safe Mode, go to the path where you extracted DDU and run the Display Driver Uninstaller application as the administrator. Under Device Type, select GPU, then go to the options on the top left. Make sure all the options under AMD Specific Options are checked. Then click the button on the bottom to close it. Then, once that's all done, click the Clean and Restart button. This will take a couple of minutes to get through the uninstall process. Once finished, it will restart automatically, so go ahead and pause this video until it's done. After it reboots and you log in, you'll see that you're still in safe mode. Right click the start button again and choose run and msconfig should already be highlighted. Click OK and then go to the boot tab again and uncheck the safe boot option. Then click OK and click restart. Once you're back into Windows, go back to amernemezone.com and click on the View at SourceForge button. On the SourceForge website, click the Files tab. Open the Release Polaris Vega Navi folder. Inside here, open the AMD SOC Driver Variant folder. Then, click on the download. The direct link is in the description as well. Now, one thing to note here is that this file will require 7-zip to open it. So if you haven't installed that yet, download and install it now.
Once it's installed, set the file association to open the 7ZFM application and set it to always. Then inside 7-Zip, click on the Extract button and choose the folder path to extract the Emmerneem drivers to. Once extracted, head over to the Amarneem Drivers folder and run the Setup CLI application. First we're just going to choose option 1. So type in the number 1 and press enter. Press enter again at the yes prompt. Now Snappy Driver Installer will open. Check Create a Restore Point and check the box below for AMD Radeon 670M. Once both are selected, you can click Install in the upper left hand window and wait a couple moments. The screen will go black a couple of times during the install process. Eventually you'll see that the Snappy Driver software window says it was successfully installed. Then you can go ahead and close that window. Once it is closed, we will continue the setup in the other window. On this first menu, choose Single Mode as it is a single APU. Again, the next screen will choose Single. For Radeon software, since half of it doesn't even work on the deck, I chose Radeon Lite, but you can choose whatever you want. For Radeon UI Profile, I chose Standard. Now here with the mini port GPU manager, for stability and performance it's recommended to choose standard. For one click GPU parameter I chose Neem Zone Default. Next it's going to ask if you want to install the Radeon software. Choose yes. We want option 1 here unless you really like the Windows Store app. It will look for it locally and if it doesn't find it, it will download it first and then install. This will take a couple minutes, and then once it completes, you can type X to exit the application, then restart your Steam Deck for the changes to apply. Once back in Windows, you can see the Radeon software in the right-click context menu on the desktop or on the bottom right in the system tray. Here we have GPU scaling, and custom color like before. Seems like most of the settings needed are still intact in the light version. You can see though that the device no longer shows as a custom 0405 GPU, but rather an AMD Radeon 670M and the drivers are WHQL certified. So what does that mean for Windows on the deck? Even better game compatibility. Unfortunately in this release, hardware codecs are still missing. Hopefully Amarneem will be able to fix that too. 
If you install these drivers, let me know how they're working for you in the comments below. See you next time.